Hallelujah to Jesus. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Therefore, you will rejoice and will be glad in it. According to the covenant that we have in the blood of the Lamb, I pray for you and I pray for your entire household that today may the blood of Jesus preserve you. May the blood of Jesus be a shelter and a banner around you. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that today all things shall work together for your good. Because of the sharing of the blood of the Lamb, today you have received power. You have the power to overcome every works of the enemy. According to the word of the living God in Revelation chapter 12 and verse 11, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. I pray that today may you overcome every work of the enemy. May you overcome every infirmity. May you overcome every ostracization. May you overcome every alienations and discouragement. In the name of the Lord Jesus, may you overcome every diseases and every sicknesses. In the name of Jesus Christ, in your blood, lineage, and in the covenant of men. Anything that I've been spoken over your life, I pray that today may you receive the power to overcome. In the name of May you overcome in your marriage. May you overcome in your job. May your children overcome every obstacle in life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That which is holding you back. That which has struggled with you for ages and for years now. That which has caused your life to stagnate. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. By the mandate of the blood of the Lamb. That Revelation chapter 12 and 11 will speak on your behalf. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak for your life today. According to the word of God in Galatians chapter 3 and verse 13. Where the Lord declared that you are no longer under the curse of the law. I pray by the covenant of the blood that Christ has redeemed you from the curse of the law. Having become a curse for you, for it is written, Curse is everyone that is hung on the tree. As long as he was hung on the tree and he defeated death, he defeated the power of shame and he defeated the power of discouragement today by the power of the blood of Jesus. Every shame in your life is destroyed. Every yoke is broken. Every infirmity is destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I pray that today may the Holy Ghost go ahead of you. May the Holy Ghost shelter you and cover you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord be adversary to your adversaries in the name of the Lord Jesus. That what whichever God has declared concerning you, it shall be materialized on your life. In Leviticus chapter 17 and verse 11 where he said, For the life of the creature is in the blood, and he has given it unto you to make atonement for yourself upon the altar. And by the blood you shall make an atonement for your life. Today may the blood of Jesus make an atonement for you. Every altar in your father's house and in your mother's house that is fighting against your destiny. Any covenant of blood that has been lifted against your life to destroy you. Whoever has decreed a word in the covenant of darkness and in the archives of satanic wolves. Today we silence them by the superior altar of the blood of Jesus. May you receive your redemption. Today is the day of your deliverance. Today is the day of your jubilee. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. This is Apostle Dr. Jerry Ote from Global Harvest Ministries Worldwide. Remember, you are a property of the Holy Ghost. Satan, back off. In Jesus' name, amen.